course. And today we have an exciting video planned for you guys. Um, the other day we did a little bit of shooting in that and uh, we had competed two different guns together. One gun is my 243 Tika versus my cousin's 6.5 Creamore Hawa 1500. I decided to mismatch the video a little bit and do a little bit of a shooting contest between the two different calibers. One caliber gun is uh, a Hawa 1500 6.5 Creamore and the other gun is the most iconic gun on our chan on this channel so far and that is my Tika T3 and I'm sure you guys have seen this rifle on the channel a lot it is one of my most iconic guns this is actually the first gun I've ever actually ever bought and uh, it's been on a lot of adventures with me and back in 2019 I took this rifle out on my first ever deer season and took my first ever whitetail with this rifle mostly involving my uh, whitetail deer hunts and uh, I have not even used this gun even for coyote hunting I kind of retired this gun for a little bit and decided to go with my 223 for coyotes but uh, this year I think I might use this gun more often for anything else that I hunt with mostly whitetail deer or even coyote hunting in that but she is the perfect gun but uh, we'll see what this competition shows so hope you guys enjoy the video Those are my shots right there, guys. Three rounds with the 243. It's grouping in pretty good. Alright guys, this is my grouping right here. I got one shot at the bottom there, and then the other shot um, at the bottom. I don't know where the third shot went, but I uh, kind of missed my... I think it was my second shot I missed, but this one hit a little low. Actually, no, I think it was my last shot that I missed with the 243. So, this gun is definitely grouping pretty well, and it will kill. So, um, yeah, pretty impressive. So this is the gun we're competing against, guys. This is a 6.5 Creamore Hawa Model 5 1500. Good gun, has a Vortex scope on it, and it's a $2,500 rifle, so yeah, it's a high-end gun. <laughs> Alright <laughs> guys, I'm not really good with that rifle, the 6.5, so I got shot there, another shot there, another shot there, but the uh, funny thing is I'm not used to the proning position on that gun. This is uh, one of the guns that my cousin actually bought, and um, I thought coming out here trying it out and seeing how it shoots in the competition with the 243, but my gun's grouping pretty good. I got several shots in there, another shot there, another shot there, and the 6.5 I got shot there shot there shot there so it's not bad but this is the targets he shot so it's grouping pretty good right here and then they got two other shots there and then another shot there so it's dialing in pretty good on the well the gun that i'm shooting there was a hawa so it's another high-end rifle um same thing like the tika but that gun's a little bit more high-end has a tripod and everything like that so yeah so that's 25 yards where we're shooting right now, so we might upgrade it to about 100 yards, but I might take a few more shots out of the Tika.
All right, guys, got one in the bullseye right there and one at the bottom. And I got another one on this target too at the bottom. So that's 25 yards, but that's, we're just doing some grouping in that. So um, that's pretty much grouping fine. I mean, it's grouping fine, but have another shot there. I might take a couple more shots with it. This is where I made the mistake here. I kind of shot one shot there, one shot there, and I got one shot right there. So what I would have done was basically I could have leaned on my knee a little bit when I was prone, but they were explaining to me what I was doing there wrong. But that's a lesson for next time. But this is 25 yards. I like how it's grouping right there. So we're going to basically uh, move her back to 100 yards. Yeah. If you're fucking here, it snapped the board, eh? Okay, my cousin's shooting the 6.5. See how it does. So those are my targets there. I got one there on the top and then another one there. Missed the third shot. And over here we got the 6.5 hitting there and there and there. A little high on both guns at 200 yards. All right, guy, not bad with the uh, Hawa. I don't know if I hit anything with this gun, but we, my, my cousin just blew a whole uh, water jug that I didn't get on camera, which would have been an epic shot. But this is a very sexy rifle. The uh, 6.5. Of course, I'm a, of course, I'm a left-handed shooter. This is a right-handed gun, so a little bit awkward when I was trying to pull the bolt on that. So, yeah. So I guess both guns are good. I mean, his scope's a little high end. It's the Vortec Venom. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna end this all in a shootout. We're gonna kill. We're gonna shoot everything on the target there. Not bad. Did you get that all on video? Yes, I did. You get the fuck yeah too. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> Got it. I'm gonna fire a three round group at the Sawyer's target. That way I just got my boss. So, anyways, guys, these are the two guns. This one, Tika T3, burst scope, and the Hawa Model 1500 with the Vortec Venom. Which gun do you think you guys will be taking this year for deer season? 243 or 65? Leave it in the comments below.
which gun that you guys would prefer to use this year over it all guys I had fun the other day shooting the two different guns. Um, I noticed with the 6.5 Creamor, um, it had no recoil, the Hala. Little recoil for me. It was very comfortable, but the most awkward thing about it is I'm a left-handed shooter, and the bolt was on the right, so I had to have a little bit of awkwardness trying to put a shell, eject another shell in. But with my 243, I noticed that the bolt is way smoother and uh, the gun's grouping pretty good, but um, overall I think both guns are good, but the gun I mostly prefer the most is my rifle here, my 243. Like I said, it's, this gun and I have a little bit of history, and I actually, like I said, if you guys have seen my channel, I shot my first deer with this rifle, and it's been just my favorite gun ever since. So... Out of both guns I choose, I prefer my 243 because, like I said, I just love this gun. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, videos, the shooting videos. And I'll try to make some more. I'm going to see if I can try to make a video of 243 versus 223 because I actually own a 223, my other uh, coyote rifle and that. And... Uh, hope to shoot do, do more shooting content so if you guys enjoy the shooting videos or the truck videos or the fishing videos or the hunting videos or anything like that make sure you guys uh put likes and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel sw outdoors click the subscribe button click the notification bell ladies and videos are and i will catch you guys in the next video sw outdoors signing out